Espérate, espérate, espérate. ¿Y este es de cricaje? El de cricaje de ahorita no me dejaba hablar. It's pretty little me from Summer 10 and I'm back with another makeup tutorial. So it's a simple look with red lips. I don't usually do a full red lips. I always do like a ombre with burgundy and red. But today, like I'm dressed all in black. I wanted to try this all red lips and this glow, you guys. Talk to me about this glow. I'm loving it. If you wanna see how it turns out, how I got this simple beat with a touch of red. Keep on watching. And one more thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click on that notification bell, and a big thumbs up. Yay! Thank you guys. Bye-bye. So right now I'm gonna use two primers. I'm going to use the, my usual primer, the Cleaning Smart from Aven. Sorry for the dirty <laughs> bottle, you guys, but I use it a lot. So I'm going to use this one here and here. And for my second primer, I'm going to use the Becca. I'm going to use the Becca all around my T-zone because it's super mattifying. This one is also mattifying, but I'm trying this one and I'm loving it. So now I'm using the Becca. Sorry you guys, I wasn't expressing myself correctly so I fast forwarded and yeah. See, it mattifies your skin. It's my first time second time because I use it this morning. So it's my second time using this NARS Natural Radiance Longwear Foundation. So I picked it in two colors because I have a like super complicated skin. So I might be a little clearer here and darker here. So I'm gonna mix them too. So I'm gonna use the lighter one first. And it's the Caracas. And then I'm gonna use on top of this one i'm gonna use the macau caracas and macau macau it reminds me of the dominican republic when you go to punta cana you have to do a stop in macau beach so yeah my my brush is dirty because i used it this morning and uh, here we go i'm gonna do two pumps i don't want to use a lot Let's see how it turns out. Because like I said, I tried it for the first time this morning and I actually liked it. So I'm gonna try it here again. Hey, let's go. So if you're in Paris, in France, or in the United States, go to Sephora and try the NARS foundation. Do you see the difference? Here foundation, here no foundation. You have to know that some foundation oxidizes once it's dry. So it can get a little darker than your skin. So you want to go just a little bit, a little bit lighter than your skin. I'm actually loving it so far. Hey, who knows? This can be my one of my favorite foundation. I'm not saying this is my favorite because I bought so many and I want to try them all. Because you know, sometimes um, having a review is a plus, but trying the product it's even better. So yay! Finally, because here in St. Martin, we don't have Sephora. Mm -hmm. That's a big thumbs down. If I don't talk, don't mind me. Just sit back and relax watching this video. Yeah guys, I have on a wig. <laughs> I don't usually wear wigs, but I was on vacation and I wanted to try it. But you know, the place is so freaking hot. It's a no-no. 
because it sticks off. So I'm not good on sticking wigs. Actually, I just stick it just for it to look a little bit good. But I think that I did okay. <laughs> I did some huge baby hair in front. Yeah. We don't care. We don't mind. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. So for my concealer, I'm going to use the NARS Medium Dark 2 Caramel. So I'm trying this new product for me and so far I'm loving it. So. I'm going to use a Real Technique brush in the number 200. And the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. On tour, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in the color Espresso. I don't know if it's too dark, but we're going to work with this. You let me know what you think, if it's dark or not. Here is my face fully covered with foundation, concealer, and contour. So now I'm gonna set all of this. To set my face where I put the concealer, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I'm going to use the Kat Von D powder in the color Tan Deep 190 and I'm going to mix it. The cover fix in the color N90. Okay, so mix. This is darker than the Kat Von D. I told y'all my skin is a little bit It's my first time using this, so it's the NYX Super Fat Eye Marker. So here we go. We're gonna, I usually use the thinner eyeliner. So. on the rise of volume mascara and I'm actually loving it. Always cut it in the outer corner. Never in a corner. Always outer corner. Oui, Dodo. Ça va? Oui. Je me sens Ok. Bon. Merci. For my setting spray, I'm going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I don't usually do this, but I see every makeup guru doing it, so I'm going to do it also. So we're gonna leave that dry. Highlighter of my nose, I usually use the highlighter that comes with the BH Cosmetic new blush. It's 
finished. So I'm using really the, you know, the little amount that's <laughs> still there. When you love something, you don't want to let it go. And yeah, that's me. I don't want to let it go. I think that I'm going to buy again just for the highlight. I only use it for my nose. Y'all see what I'm talking about, you guys? Like I mean. To highlight my cheekbones, I'm gonna use this brush. And the Morphe Sand Spray. I love it. I love it. She's getting watery. Oh my god, it's watery. I wanna be glow, like when you see me in the club, I wanna be like, Kazam, Shazam, <laughs> Kazam, whatever. For my lips, I was thinking more like a red, a red color, because I always do. I always do the new colors, so I was thinking about it. What do you guys think? Let's try it. Let's try it. I'm just wiping the excess of foundation and powder and whatsoever on my lips. As you guys can see, I have a huge lips. And most people wish they had these lips. <laughs> But sometimes I'll be like, dude, this is so damn big, you know? You know what I hate, you guys? Like, red. <laughs> like, on my full lips. Like, I have a huge lip. And you put red on top of it? Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna try it, and if I don't like it, we're gonna switch it. I don't know which one from the district. These are MAC Travel Collection. And actually, the cutest thing ever. It has my name written on it. Which one should I try? So we have, we have the Ruby Rose, then we have the Chili, and then we have the Lady Danger. I'm gonna show you guys the swipe that I just made, and y'all gonna let me know which one y'all think that I'm gonna go. Here we have the Ruby Rose, the Chili, and the Lady Danger. I think that I'm gonna go for the Ruby Roll because the Lady Danger, if you can see it, it's actually like a reddish, orangish, and yeah, I like it. I'm gonna use the Ellie Girl lip liner in the color Deep Red. If I don't like it, I'm gonna change it. So be prepared. Oh my God! I usually do a mix with burgundy and red. I hate red, like plain red. Oh my god. How do you look? How do you find it, you guys? I hate red. <laughs> oh my god. So I'm gonna take a few pictures before coming out the house like this to see if I like it. And this is the final look. Don't mind me, you guys. I'm just fixing my wig before I come out the house. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you on the next video.
Before you came round I was heading for a 